Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and over. So I'm whispering, kind of. I mean, some people don't like it when I talk really low, but I don't like to talk loud when I'm talking about certain things outside. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Today I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, freeform dreadlocks and cannabis. Um, and this was per request from a viewer from a long time ago that wanted to know more about my freeform dreadlocks. I've been asked a lot of questions about them, like um, how cannabis relates to freeform dreadlocks and how they grow. <clears throat> and everything like that, and questions on what do I use to wash them with, you know, what do I use to um, keep them moisturized, I mean, the gamut, there's tons of questions about it, so, before I get into answering that question, there's a lot of little noises out here, I'm gonna, this here, it's just mainly trim. I don't have a name for it. I think it may be, it may be Girl Scout, but I'm not sure. So, let's put it in here. It's all crumbly. It's trim. So, I see that. Right. Did I bring my lighter? <coughs> I didn't bring my lighter. <laughs> what are we going to do? I'm going to have to rub two sticks together, I guess. I may not have brought my lighter. <laughs> Alright, tell you what guys, come along with me and I'm gonna go find my lighter. Cause I don't have it with me. <laughs> so yeah, it's a nice day, I'm outside. <coughs> I'm uh, just uh, hanging out here and enjoying the weather, getting ready to do a hair rinse on my dreadlocks. And that's basically what I want to talk to you guys about, is hair rinses. If anybody knows about them, then feel free to leave extra info about it. But, let's see if this works. Okay, this works. So, yeah. Um, I've been using hair rinses on my freeform dreadlocks for years now. And I've had my freeform dreadlocks for, like, <clears throat> 18 years. It'll be 19 years in July. So, pretty cool. But here's the thing is that after a while I just forget that I have them. I mean, not that I don't like them, it's just I just forget. I don't get so immersed in what I look like on the outside all the time. Once, you know, like kind of like once I got my clothes on, that's it. I don't fixate on what I look like all day long. So, cheers. <laughs> Yeah, I want to show you the herbs that I use in my hair. If you guys haven't seen it before, if you have, you take it another tour. But each year, you know, the herbs are going to look different. So let's go on over and I'll show you. These are like collards and stuff that are overgrowing. <clears throat> More collards here. I like to, uh, I just like to let the collards just go because then they'll spread out into seed. So here we go. Here's a sage right here that I use in my in my rinses. Sage is a really strong herb. It can be used for um, dyeing your hairs, your gray hairs or white hairs darker. If you use it on a consistent basis, it can dye it really dark till it gets like black. You got to make a really strong infusion of it, but it'll do it over time. I've been using um, I've been using rosemary rinses sage and rosemary sage and spearmint on my hair so with those um, my hair has gotten like red if you can tell I don't know if you can see that but red highlights in it and stuff but <clears throat> here's the spearmint here and what I'm going to be doing is offering um, I'm going to dry the spearmint dry some rosemary and dry some sage well probably not sage because I have much of it and offer it up as like a hair rinse to sell on my Etsy shop, so stay tuned for that. Somebody was asking for it. I was wondering if I would do that, if I would sell it. Just, you know, in a bag. 
because <coughs> not everybody has access to um, rosemary and, and spearmint, like fresh rosemary and spearmint. You can always use, uh, let's settle this here, you can always use um, spearmint if you want to buy in the tea bags, you can use that too if you don't have access to fresh herbs. Let me find my tea. Such a beautiful day today. I hope everybody's getting outside and enjoying themselves, enjoying nature. I know all over the world there's different types of weather, but I think that you can get out at every season. Get outside every season, whether it's raining or snowing, whatever's going on. So yeah, um, I was talking about on my other channel about how I like to use the herbal rinses not just for uh, nourishment of my dreads, but also as perfection. Um, here's some of the, the rinse that I made. I make it pretty dark. It's a uh, rosemary. This time I put rosemary and black tea in it. And I just use the regular tea bags. But the black tea I've read is supposed to um, be good for the circulation, blood flow in your... Uh, in your scalp and your hat. And when the blood flow is circulating really well, then you have healthier growth of your hair from the scalp. Because that's where the hair growth starts, is at the scalp. A lot of people want to pay more attention to the ends, like the long parts come dangling down. But it all starts, nutrients all starts at the scalp. So if you can remember that, then you know how best to take care of your dreads. And if you um, go back to my other videos, I have a video on how I use <clears throat> the leaves, the herb leaves, to rinse my dreads with. And it made them feel supple and soft. So I think it's all about trial and error and trying things that intuitively feel right. And um, that's what this herb does. It makes me feel more connected to myself and knowing how better to take care of you know, and to treat myself, you know, with respect. And that includes the hair on the side of my head. I'm not saying my way is the only way as far as dreads go, dreadlocks go. But what I have is freeform dreadlocks and for me I just feel like you have to be I have to be as natural as possible. Because if I'm not, then my hair just falls right out of my head. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens. I mean, that's what happened to me in the past. If you want to learn more about that, you can look at previous videos where I talk about that in more depth. Yeah, so thank you everybody for joining me today. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to sit down and hear me talk about freeform dreadlocks and <clears throat> how if you just stop looking at yourself all the time, then your hair becomes natural. Everything about you becomes natural because you're so much more connected to Mother Earth and being out in nature all the time. I mean, as much as you can be, be out in nature because that gets you away from all these dramas that go on in the world that you can't do anything about. So yeah, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for sharing this with your friends and family. So I think this is information that not a lot of people know about. And if we learn more information about anything, free phone dreadlocks, whatever, spread the knowledge. You know, don't hoard the knowledge, spread the knowledge so that someone else can implement what you're talking about and see if it works for them. You know, and then that way all of us are in the know. <laughs> we know what's going on. Alrighty guys. Uh, let's see. One more. <laughs> so yeah, get out in nature, guys, um, and really love yourself. Take care of yourself. Take that time out to just sit down and do nothing and just be out in nature. 
Maybe close your eyes and just listen to the birds chirping. You know, listen to whatever animal is walking around beside you, a dog, cat. Just really take in what's going on around you. Because it's really important to uh, get contact with your higher self. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'll see you soon. Peace.